When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with that? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we gonna be talking about Tory Lane and Megan Thee Stallion. All right, so look, man. Now the verdict has finally came in, my people, man, you know who it is. and it's definitely different than what I was expecting. But Tory Lanez was found guilty on all three charges, even though no one testified saying that they actually saw Tory Lanez uh, shoot a gun. Or even if there's footage of him shooting a gun in general. Even in Megan Thee Stallion's own testimony, she never once in that courtroom said that she actually saw Tory Lane shoot. She saw Tory Lane's holding the gun, never saw Tory Lane's pulling the trigger. But the jury, they came to the conclusion that uh, Tory Lane's is the one who allegedly shot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. Even though the gun residue was on him, and uh, Kelsey, which is uh, Megan Thee Stallion's ex-friend that she was having a fight with that night, which a witness himself said that he saw with his own eyes Kelsey and Megan Thee Stallion fighting, but he never saw Tory Lanez actually shoot a gun. But the jury did come up with a decision. After hearing that information, they thought Tory Lanez was guilty on all three charges. So I guess you have no choice but to really respect that that's what they came up with. Now you don't have to agree with it, but that is what happened. The verdict came out that he was guilty on all three charges. This is my question though. Why couldn't Megan Thee Stallion leave Kylie Jenner's uh, party or house without Tory Lanez? This whole thing could have been avoided. She left the party and then told the driver to go back because she left her slipper. She get back to the party and ain't trying to leave unless Tory Lanez leave with her. I still don't understand what he has to do with you leaving but that's one of the biggest contributors for this situation happening in the first place. Kylie Jenner told you to leave because you was drunk and acting crazy, but you refused to leave unless Tory Lanez came with you. Like this whole thing could have been avoided if she would have just been an adult and left the party after she was asked instead of trying to bring other people along with her because she, she was mad. But with all that being said, she is the victim here. It don't matter how the uh, situation escalated, it should have never ended in uh, five shots being fired and bullet fragments being in her foot. That should have never happened. But this was a real weird case to me. I definitely don't think it's over. Almost 100% positive Tory Lanez and his team would file an appeal. Now, I don't know the route they would go with that. But no matter how much y'all want to believe this was a cut and dry uh, trial, it wasn't. Speculation is all over the place, even after the verdict has been reached. So I definitely don't see this being a, a, a done with situation. Now, as far as Tory Lanez and his uh, music career and things like that, he's more than likely getting deported back to Canada. As we all know, he's not a legal citizen of the United States. So that's one of the biggest hits he's gonna take. But I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm not gonna stop listening to his music. I like the guy's music. Doesn't mean that I'm happy with uh, Megan Thee Stallion having bullet fragments in her foot but I'm still gonna listen to the guy's music. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to the gym right now, listen to Mo3 and Tory Lanez, they don't know on repeat. I mean, why not? Did y'all start listening to TLC after she burned the whole house down? I mean, that's what left I did. Or that don't matter, and we separate uh, art from the artist right there. Or how about Cardi B? Admitting to drugging and robbing a man. I mean, nobody ain't stopped listening to her music. She has 30 million monthly Spotify listeners. I mean, Rick Ross, he said he was going to put a molly in the girl drink and she wouldn't even know it. Call me a bad person for comparing the two, but I honestly think putting mollies in the girl drink when she wasn't even aware of it might be a little worse than someone having bullet fragments in her foot. Chris Brown, that's my guy, one of the biggest R&B artists in the world. He put the beats on Rihanna. I mean, there's a visual picture of this situation and all. Her face was lumped up, dawg. But it's okay for me to listen to him, but not Tory Lanez. So nah, I'm not gonna stop listening to Tory Lanez, bro. But at the same time, I'm not against Megan Thee Stallion either. I'm not a fan of her music, but if she drops a good song, I would definitely listen to it. But overall, just happy this trial is over. I was getting tired of seeing men and women arguing with each other online 
about a situation that has nothing to do with them at all. Relationships ending because one person agreed with Tori, one person agreed with Megan. Y'all gotta learn how to think for y'all selves, man. This is sad. Don't know how to have a disagreement with someone without hating them. I thought Tori was gonna be uh, not guilty. That don't mean I'm sitting here trying to have beef with people that uh, thought he was gonna be found guilty. That is stupid. But this is my opinion, though. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZLBaby252. And I wish somebody would say something about me still listening to uh, Tory Lane's music. Especially with y'all still wearing Balenciaga. Hypocritical people, man. Picking and choosing when something is right and wrong. But I'm gone. Prolific. Ay. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this in the street.